Some people in rural Cass County are battling floodwaters as we speak, and it's not for the first or the second time, but for the third time. Valley News Team's Kelly Hubbard met with a man near Horace who saved his house in 97 and 2009 and is at it again. I was very concerned last night when the water got closer to the house and I didn't, I didn't exactly know what was going to happen overnight. Gordon Baker is one of the many residents that have their boots and equipment ready. It's not that bad. There's an inch of water in here. To battle the flood. Him and his wife moved to Horace in 1985, where they raised their two daughters. Sarah and Tracy, my wife Liz. In the year 1997, the first major flood hit their home. It was already up to the windows and running through the windows. We had actually three sump pumps going in the basement, which is just pumping water. 24 hours a day. Him and his family fought the flood again in 09. Then that brings us to this year. They say the flooding is bad again, and as you can imagine, it hasn't been easy. You can't sleep because you're worried about what's going on outside. Gordon says he has to monitor his yard throughout the night and fear that the water will get closer. And get this, he even received a letter from the city saying he has to move because of the flooding. But Gordon says his house is just one of the many on this road that are going to be taken down due to the diversion project. I'm gonna miss this place. My wife and I, we were only married five years when we, when we built this house and it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna to be tough to move away. Gordon says moving away from Horace is like a double-edged sword. He's sad that he has to move away, but he's looking forward to not having to fight the flood anymore. Reporting in Horace, Callie Hubbard, Valley News Live. The Bakers are currently receiving help from the Cass County Sheriff's Department. If you are battling flood-related issues in your home, you can visit our website, valleynewslive.com, for more information on how to get help.